Hello everyone, I'm Henry Lee, BlueHeronArts.com. Again, we're going to carve a name seal for a, a special client. Uh, his name is Ken Cohen. And uh, the Ch Chinese name for Cohen, uh, uh, Kenneth Cohen, uh, is uh, uh, given by his uh, Taoist master. And uh, according to him, uh, Gao uh, is derived from his uh, the birth year dragon, and uh, because his uh, um, his uh, feng shui or his uh, um, zodiac um, need uh, some water, and uh, his uh, master giving this uh, character with a water radical Han. Uh, it's a river name, and Gao Han in Chinese, uh, which also match the sound, the Kohen, uh, his last name. So Gao also start with uh, uh, in old uh, Vijay spelling is K, so it's perfect uh, translation. And uh, uh, in Chinese uh, name uh, seal, in Chinese name seal. We always add um, the letter, I mean the character in, which means uh, seal. And if you have two character names, we use the zhi in, means uh, seal of gao han. If you have three character names, uh, it would be like my name, Li Xiaohui, would be Li Xiaohui in, seal of Li Xiaohui Li, uh, Li Xiaohui. But uh, in um, in case of you have a two character name, it will be zhi uh, yin, means the seal of. So these two characters are common used. Uh, you might ask why we need to make four characters instead of two, because Chinese characters are basically square. If you uh, use three character design, one of them will be in, uh, pronounced. Uh, stretched, so uh, it would look more classical to make it uh, uh, basically four characters, even in even squares. But in some design, we may adjust the uh, space the, uh, for each square. But uh, the Chinese characters look much better, the the best in squares because the uh, language is written in squares not like uh, other language. So um, I, I, I have made uh, several uh, versions. This uh, in or negative carving uh, is chosen to, to be carved on the stone. So we have this uh, stone. And uh, um, I use the process of transferring the design onto the stone. Uh, I developed with some uh, help from the internet friend. Um, the process starts with uh, um, a printout from a laser jet printer. It has to be laser jet. And I take one of these uh, prints. If, it, if it's not uh, successful, I can use the other coupons. So um, I made uh, some mark. You can either uh, do this on a little soft padding um, or you can just wrap it like that and uh, the liquid could be applied on either side. You can pour the liquid on this side, it will penetrate through or you can just pour the liquid directly on the design and then just stamp it. St and stamping on the printout, as if you make a print on the stone. So it will become a mirror image. So this image is uh, the, exactly what you would have on the uh, final result on the imprint. So it's, uh, you don't have to write the mirror image, or print out the mirror image. And it will be flipped on the stone. So I pour some liquid called acetone. It's a nail polish remover. Make sure all the 
design is wet. It dries very fast, so let it uh, uh, evaporate a little bit. And uh, at the same time, you choose a nice uh, site to just make sure you know it's easier to recognize the orientation. This has a pattern on top, so I just can I carefully place stone against the design and then press and turn it up and press again. But you cannot move. If it moved, it will you have to redo it. You can use a, a little scratcher. Um, I just use this a mirror because uh, that's what I have. You can use a credit card or something. I have a scrapper somewhere I misplaced. Oh, here. Okay, found it. Okay, now. Take it off before it gets completely dry. It's, I think I'm too slow, so it become it will. Uh, well, in this case, I can use a uh, a marker pen to enhance it so to make it. Uh, or I, I just erase it and redo it. Um, Depends on how much uh, work you want to spend. So if it's uh, successful, I'll, I think I, I'm going to make another one. Just uh, it's just too much uh, blurry here, so I'm going to erase it. By the way, you need to get rid of the f wax on the stone. So you, you have to sand it first when the stone is new. Okay, and uh, I, I'll do the other way, not this time. Wrap the paper around the, the end of this stone, position it carefully, and uh, just pull this uh, acetone liquid on the back of this uh, the paper. It will penetrate through and uh, wait until it becomes translucent. Use a, a credit card or something like this, a scrubber, to rub it and uh, lift it. See, I got one. And uh, if some stroke is uh, not 100% uh, um, what you want, you can enhance it with a marker pen. But I usually like the random effect some uh, little smearing, some uh, uh, blurry is, uh, is good and uh, it, it's more inspiring. So every step is uh, um, accidental and uh, I will call the um, divine inspiration a happy accident. So you, um, you carve it now uh, with a medium size or a large size, if, if you like. It, it's more stable to use a large cutting knife. A little bit careful with the art margin. You might hit your 
finger, but uh, the chance is it's like you're cutting an apple. Or, you know, like this knife is not very sharp, but still could be, be a little careful. So I hold the knife uh, with the, all you know, five fingers, two of them uh, against the, the side of the stone. So give me a stable hand. And the other three uh, push this two, the ring finger, the small finger, resist. We work together to control the movement. Okay, first character Gao means high, also the family name. Okay, next is the uh, Han. First is the uh, water radical. Strokes are not very uh, even. It's more organic shape. It uh, depends on the pressure of the knife. It's like calligraphy writing. It's a sense of stroke. By the way, this uh, client or uh, coin or pen. Um, He's a, a Tai Chi master and a Kung Fu master. Also teaches uh, uh, Kung Fu tea. He speaks very fluent Chinese, by the way. We had a good uh, chat on the phone about this seal. of uh, antiquity or antiquarianism is uh, um, very important in seal engraving art. We try to reproduce the ancient uh, bronze seal kind of um, style with the age effect. So some chipping, some breaking is design. It's part of the design. Now the third character, Zhi, uh, 
off. Beautiful curved line, it's like the uh, orchid leaves. It's hard to do, it's like painting stroke. Okay, the very last character, which is uh, uh, very common in all name cells is a uh, seal in It's in between square and round. That's the beauty of uh, each character and each stroke. So everything in Chinese thinking is uh, in between square and round. And uh, in, uh, it's, it's composed of a uh, line and the dots. Use a smaller knife to do some uh, um, polishing and fine tuning to uh, eliminate those uh, sharp points to make it uh, smoother. This part may take a long time. Um, and uh, we also need to make uh, the margin to blunt the, the margin so it's not to uh, look like a new seal. It's a kind of relief carving. It's not uh, like a rubber stamp, it's a uh, two dimensional. It's more a little bit you know, with three dimensional. Uh, so each print is a uh, is a little different too. If you press harder, the stroke will be narrow. All right, we're now going to make a imprint. next to the design. So you can compare. Okay. Looks pretty close, isn't it? And I like the uh, 
the more kind of uh, natural carving uh, strokes on the final result. Let me make a final official imprint. I need to change the all button now. It's uh, four. Make on this last page. That's how I make uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, hand style, hand official style script uh, name seal. It will be used on the certificate for his student of uh, Kung Fu or Tai Chi. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Master Cohen for your trust in my um, seal engraving art. And uh, thank everybody on YouTube for watching. If you need a special seal for your business um, or your name, please contact me at blueheronarts.com. Goodbye.